Dwayne Ross from Servants United with daily devotions from Christ in our home. For the 11th Sunday after Pentecost, August 4th, our scripture is found in the 6th chapter of the Gospel of John, verses 24 through 35. So when the crowd saw that neither Jesus nor his disciples were there, they themselves got into the boats and went to Capernaum looking for Jesus. When they found him on the other side of the sea, they said to him, Rabbi, when did you come here? Jesus answered, Very truly I tell you, you are looking for me, not because you saw signs, but because you ate your fill of the loaves. Do not work for the food that perishes, but for the food that endures for eternal life, which the Son of Man will give you. For it is on him that God the Father has set his seal. Then they said to him, What must we do to perform the works of God? Jesus answered them, This is the work of God, that you believe in him who he has sent. So they said to him, What sign are you going to give us then, so that we may see it and believe you? What work are you performing? Our ancestors ate the manna in the wilderness, as it is written, He gave them bread from heaven to eat. And Jesus said to them, Very truly I tell you, it was not Moses who gave you the bread from heaven, but it is my Father who gives you the true bread from heaven. For the bread of God is that which, you, which comes down from heaven and gives life to the world. They said to him, Sir, give us this bread always. Jesus said to them, I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me will never be hungry, and whoever believes in me will never be thirsty. Jesus said, I am the bread of life. Verse 35. Many of us love and appreciate the various breads that are available from cultures around the world. A slice of sourdough or a handmade tortilla. Seed crusted cement or a buttery biscuit. Bread is a basic food available everywhere. And it can be used to feed an army or nourish a hungry child. But when Jesus says, I am the bread of life, he is not talking about the bread made of wheat, rye, or corn. Whoever comes to me will never be hungry, he promises, verse 35. Jesus presents himself as the most basic, durable, and nutritious food available to us. Those who eat this bread will never be hopeless or powerless or spiritually famous, famished. In the Holy Communion of a worship service, we are given the bread of heaven and the cup of salvation. Communion is the basic food of our faith, a meal that brings us forgiveness and new life. In receiving this spiritual meal, we receive Christ's very self and are strengthened and equipped to bear Christ's presence into the world. Our prayer. Nourishing God, we thank you for sending Jesus the true bread that gives life to the world. Amen. Please join me in the Lord's Prayer. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen.